Yo, what is up? I hope you're doing amazing today. Austin here, and today we're going to be testing out the Bell Boom Ordnance. Uh, we're going to see how much of a difference it really makes with the Bell Boom Ordnance being turned on. And we're going to really see how many more bells we can make with the Bell Boom Ordnance. Now, for this video, I'm going to be selling Blue Rose Reefs. I'm going to be selling pumpkins. I'm going to be selling Royal Crowns. And we're going to see how much of a difference it's going to make. Plus, I'm going to be checking the prices in the Nook's Cranny shop to see how much the prices have actually gone up. Because it does increase prices for the shops, but how much does it really increase, though? But we're going to find out in this video. Now, in case you didn't know, you can set up your town ordinance inside of the town hall. Isabel will set you up with that. Yeah, it is 20,000 bells to set up an ordinance, though. So keep that in mind. And if you want to change it again, it'll be another 20,000 bells. So it's not bad, really. Not bad at all. All right, so now I'm going to sell a bunch of pumpkins inside the Nook's Cranny, and we're going to see how many more bells we'll make with the pumpkins and the bell ordinance being turned on. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest all these, and we'll see how much of a difference it makes. Alright, so I harvest my pumpkin patch, and it's not quite a full inventory's worth just because I'm lazy and I don't water my pumpkins. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and see how much, uh, how many bells we can make with this. Oh yeah, here's my gyroid. <laughs> Alright, so we know each pumpkin is worth 350 bells each. That's with the bell boom ordinance being turned off. Let's see how many bells it is with it turned on. We're just going to sell one pumpkin this time, just to kind of see how much it is. Alright, take my pumpkin. <laughs> Ooh, 420 bells. Wow, that's quite an increase. Alright, so let's go ahead and sell 107 pumpkins and see how many bells we can make. Okay, all right, so we got 49,140 bells with 107 pumpkins. So if the Bell Boom Ordinance was turned off, we would have made 37,450 bells. So we made about 12k more with the Bell Boom Ordinance being turned on. Let's see how many bells we can make harvesting blue roses. Now, if you guys haven't seen my blue rose farm yet, you're going to have to see my blue rose farm because it's pretty crazy. All right, so here we are at my blue rose farm. Uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> if you want to learn how to make blue roses and make a ton of bells, be sure to check out my blue rose guide. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to harvest all these blue roses, craft a bunch of blue rose reefs, and we're going to see how many more bells we can make. All right. All right, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I harvested all my blue roses. So I'm going to go ahead and make some blue rose reefs. So BRB once again. All right, now we have 40 blue rose reefs. Let's go to the Nook's Cranny. and see how much more money we're going to make. I'm excited. I love making money. <laughs> I love making bells. Austin, welcome, welcome. What do you need today? I'm going to sell you a bunch of stuff. All right, let's see how much this is all worth. Actually, first, let's see how much one of them's worth first. Let's see how much more it is. 24,000. Okay, so that's about a 4,000 bell increase. Cool. I was kind of hoping for a little more, though. But let's go ahead and sell them all and see what we get. Whoa, all right, 960,000 bells. So that's about a 160,000 bell increase. Cool, nice. Let's go ahead and sell the Royal Crown. Let's see how much the Royal Crown's worth. Three hundred sixty thousand. So that's a 60,000 bell increase, I do believe, because it's 300K uh, without the Bell Boom Ordinance. So 60, extra 60,000. That, that's really good. That's really good. All right, guys. So I just did the math for the Royal Crowns. And if we sell a full inventory's worth of Royal Crowns, we'll make 14,400,000. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. 
Um, we're gonna definitely have to see if the dupe glitch still works uh, with the new update. I know some of you guys have tested it already and some of you guys have told me that it does work. I myself haven't tested it yet, but you can bet I will. So we'll definitely have an updated video on that. Okay, so we do know with the Bellbim Ordnance being turned on that the items in Nook's Cranny will, will sell for a little bit higher of a price. Now, how high are they? Let's find out. So this is a bubblegum machine right here. Let's check the price for it. Candy machine. All right, so the candy machine with the Bell Boom Ordnance turned on is 3360 The normal price for that... All right, so the normal price for the candy machine is 2800 bells. So that's really not a big increase, really. Um, if you're doing more selling than buying, like, you probably won't even notice, like, the increase at all. Because we're going to make so much more money just by selling. Now, is the Bell Boom Ordnance actually worth it? I think it is worth it, honestly. Um, if your goal is to, like, make more money in Animal Crossing, uh, if you're, like, a new player um, who's struggling to make bells and you want to pay off your debts a lot faster, I do think the Bell Boom Ordnance will help you pay your debts off a lot faster. Now, even if you're like an older uh, veteran player like myself, I, I think the Bellbeam Ordnance is still great for us rich folks in Animal Crossing, for us rich folks to get even richer and like scale our businesses even higher. We, we can like scale our little pumpkin farms higher. We can um, scale the Blue Rose farm higher. And uh, yeah, I do think it's really worth it though. And if you're into like duplicating and stuff like that, you definitely get more money for that, obviously. Well, um, yeah, that's about it. See you in the next one. Peace.